This next one um, says, uh, if bacteria break stuff down, why do tanks need cleaning? And also, cottonelle breaks down pretty much like toilet paper uh, and is listed on most city websites as safe. All right. So, uh, yeah, this, this was a comment on a video that, that we made uh, talking about, you know, what's, what's safe to put down in the septic tank and what's not. And I think I basically said, well, uh, don't put anything down in the septic tank and you'll be safe. Um, which, you know, that's, that, the less you put down, the less solids you're adding to the tank. But the question is, if bacteria breaks stuff down, why do we even need to clean it? Um, the, the short answer is, so, uh, the bacteria doesn't typically just make things go away. Okay, so it does, it breaks it down, but what it's doing is it's breaking the, the sludge and the, um, the solids, that paper, everything that's coming into the, into the septic, septic tank, it is taking that large amount of solids and it's breaking it down into a, a smaller amount. So typically when we are come out to clean the, the septic tank, uh, you know, for a regular uh, maintenance cleaning, uh, we, we're taking away the stuff that's basically already been broken down. And if we, if we don't clean the tank on a good, uh, you know, regular basis, what's going to happen is that the, the solids in the tank are just going to continue to accumulate. Yeah, it's being broken down, but the, what's left over is going to continue to build and build and build. And the more solids that we have built up in the septic tank, as water gets used in the house, we have this churning motion that happens in, in the tank. And that, allow, that will allow those solids uh, to get mixed up in the tank. So we're, the, the quick rundown of a septic tank, typically we, we should have uh, solids that flow to the top. There's solids that sink to the bottom. And then the center part of the tank is where our cleanest, you know, what we call a clear zone of water is. That middle part of the tank is what exits through our outlet device and goes out to the drain field. So if we have that water use come in and, it, and we have lots of solids in the tank and it starts to mix up into that middle zone, those solids are able to get pushed out of the tank uh, out to the drain field. And the more often that's happening, the, uh, the less efficient that drain field is going to function and over time uh, we're going to find that the, the drain field doesn't last as long as we would hope it, it would uh, under those, those circumstances. So yes bacteria exists and yes it's breaking things down but it just it isn't making things go away. It, there's, for, for a typical household unlike uh, our, our friend earlier that, that we talked about who hadn't pumped his tank in 45 years um, for most households, under normal usage, uh, you will, are going to have a uh, buildup of solids that's left in the tank, even under good bacterial uh, activity, uh, that the tank's going to need to be cleaned somewhere in the two to four, sometimes five year range, uh, depending on how many people are in the house, how large the tank is, uh, and, and what the usage is like. So. Bacteria is there to do its job. It's, it's, it's what's allowing us to get years between cleanings rather than, you know, if there was no, nothing breaking down, we would be having issues with that tank backing up probably within a few months or so. Uh, so that's what that bacteria is doing. And as far as the Cottonelle, the Cottonelle is a brand. It's, it's, it is toilet paper. And um, there, there's not a huge difference. We'll, we'll see marketing you know on on the packaging of toilet paper that says oh it's septic safe this is safe for a septic um that doesn't that, that's usually just just fluff advertising um it's not necessarily that one breaks down better than the other the the things that are going to be different between different types of toilet paper uh the thicker the, the toilet paper the more material is there so the thicker it is the more paper that's going out into the into the septic tank uh, is going to accumulate faster than a thinner toilet paper. So it's just something to keep in, in mind. You're going to use whatever's comfortable, but if you're using a thicker toilet paper, you should have it in the back of your mind that you probably should be getting your tank cleaned, you know, on the shorter end of the spectrum rather than letting it go longer. Um, where you, you, you could end up 
where you have a large buildup. That toilet paper usually builds up on the top of the tank, and that can can plug off that inlet line, that pipe coming from the house into the tank. They will plug it right off, and 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 you'll be backing up in the house. So um, that's 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 the main main difference uh, between different types of toilet paper. It's all all pretty much the same. It's just more of a how much are how, how much added solids are going in, into the septic tank.